In this video, I'll be showing you how to use SHAP to test PHP locally on your own computer. If you've been developing a website yourself, you may know that you can always run an HTML file in your own personal browser like Chrome, but doing something like PHP requires some kind of server. You could, of course, FTP it up to an actual server, but that's an extra step, and you can actually save everything on your own computer and run your own local server. That's where SHAMP comes in. You can also do much more complicated stuff with PHP My Admin databases like MySQL, but I'm just going to be focusing on how to get PHP working. So you go to the download page and pick one of these downloads. Right now I'm going to be using 5.6 because PHP 7 is right new, but any of them should work. The installer, this first one I ignore, antivirus, you could turn it off. Mine is not very active anyway, so continue. And then this is important for Windows. Basically, if you install it in Program Files 86, user account control prevents XAM from working very well. You avoid this by either turning off UAC, which is not really recommended by Windows, Windows, or you just install it somewhere else. I'm going to install it C Windows. So click OK. Here's where you choose what you want to install. You could deselect a few of them, but the important ones are PHP and Apache, and you can't uncheck those. That's the whole point. And here's your installation directory. You can put it somewhere else. It might not be a problem on other operating systems. Now this part will take a while. Now that that's finished, we're going to say finish and run the control panel. Select your language. And here we have it kind of running. The way a local host works is instead of going to HTTP some domain dot com, you actually type in local host and that is your entire domain. But right now, we'll get an error saying the site can't be reached. That's because the Apache server is not actually running. So we need to click start. And then if you refresh this page, hey, you'll be a welcome to XAMP thing. What is this doing? Well, it's going to the dashboard, which means it's actually going into C, XAMP, and then htdocs for hypertext documents. This is where all the files that you can view on a localhost will be stored. And it's actually viewing this page right here, index.php. And then it's saying redirect me to dashboard. And that's this little thing. But if you want to have your own stuff, you find this htdocs. If you can't remember what's installed, you can simply click Explorer, and it shall open up where you installed XAMPP, and then you go htdocs. In here, I'm going to paste a new folder called Test. In that folder, there are two PHP pages, Index and Page 2. Now, if I go and change the URL localhost slash test, that's saying, look in that folder and find me whatever page is called Index. That's looking at this exact page right here. Also in that folder is page 2.php. I have had problems with Windows saying it can't shut down because Champ is still running. Now Apache is running, you can close the control panel. And as you see, Apache is still running, I can refresh the page, but just the control panel disappeared. However, if you go in Task Manager, you see, hey, there's one control panel running. If I want to open it again, search for Champ and enter, now it's running. But if I close it again, now I have two processes running. Maybe this is a bug on Windows. This sometimes causes the computer not want to shut down because, hey, there's multiple things running. So you can kill one of these with delete key. If you've already closed the control panel, I recommend opening it from the little notification area down here, right clicking on it and say, show hide. Hopefully that will avoid the computer not being able to shut down. And I've just made these simple links that go back and forth between the other, but as you see in the address bar here, they're changing. So localhost is your like http colon domain dot com, and then all your relatives links work the same way. So in order to link from page two back to index, what I'm actually doing is just having a simple anchor tag that goes, hey, what's the link? Index.php. Since they're in the same folder, that works perfectly fine. You can go up and down subdirectories with dot dot slash, like you normally would with other links. Anything you put in the htdocs folder will be accessible through XAMPP with this simple relative linking. The reason you have to start a link with localhost is because in test, you can't just drag a page in. This is Chrome trying to read PHP and it's saying, hmm, this is a PHP tag. I don't know how to render this. Oh, let's just spit out plain text. So you actually, instead of doing the file prefix like you might do for an HTML page, you do have to use XAMPP. But anything you put in the htdocs folder will be accessible. You can have multiple sites. You can have as many subfolders as you want. I just usually like to separate them so like you'd have a site with a main folder in the htdocs root folder. And of course, you can bookmark that localhost slash test for your testing. That's the simplest part, but notice how Apache didn't start up when you open the control panel. That's the thing that runs PHP. To fix that, you go to config and then auto start modules. 
click Apache. Now when you save, next time you open the control panel, Apache will automatically start. You can go into more complicated stuff about starting it as a Windows service, but I don't need to do that. If you stop Apache and then go back to page 2 and refresh, you get a site can't be reached error. This means XAMPP is not running. This is basically like, hey, where's the URL and this site doesn't exist. Of course, if you start it again, the yellow means it's starting, and green means it started, refresh, and there we have, boom, the page is back. Hopefully everything will be fine at this point. If I go to the wrong link and add a 6 at the end, you'll get an object not found. This means XAMPP is running. See, here's the Apache localhost thing. But this is a XAMPP is running, but it can't find the file, so a different kind of error. Probably just means you typed it in wrong. If you're still getting the site not reached, it could be something wrong with your port numbers. Right now we're running on port 80, and the way you can check is right here, ports 80, and then comma 443. The second one is for SSL, and you can verify that by going into the address bar, and after localhost, do colon 80. Nothing appeared to happen but the page is still there, and that means we're on port 80. If I did colon 90, then we get a site can't be reached. If you want to change the port numbers, you go into config on Apache, and then we're going to edit a text file, dot conf. It opens in notepad on Windows. I'm going to use control F to search for port 80, because that's where we know it currently is, and we need to change two lines. Anything with the number sign, that means it's a comment. It doesn't matter if you change it, but I'd leave it just because it explains what it's going to do. But this, listen, that's saying listen on port 80. We can change that to 90, and then find the next 80, that's the server name localhost colon 90. That's what is matching this address bar here. If you save, and then stop and restart Apache, now this localhost colon 90, this will work. Hopefully you don't have to do that, but if you are having problems, that's how to change it.